curator of the Rijksmuseum, Trumit Femke, curator in training, who knows a lot about a famous painting of Frans Hals. And in this painting, we see a woman who knows a lot about beer. So let's meet Femke. Hey, Femke. Hi, Catalina. Who is this woman? Well, the woman on the painting, her name is Marit Geklaas Dr. Voogd. And she is the daughter of a very wealthy brewer's family from Haarlem. I can't see myself working in a brewery in this outfit. Well, well, she probably wasn't wearing this when brewing beer, but uh, she is part of a very wealthy family. Brewers were actually one of the highest social classes in the 17th century. So for her, it meant that her husband, Peter Olekan, was actually away from home a lot. He had other obligations next to being a brewer. So it makes sense that she is also depicted as being very wealthy. say she also had a big saying into the company itself? We don't know a lot about her specifically, but we do know that women had a big say in brewing companies because the brewing of beer was originally done by women. So before it became like huge companies, brewing beer was part of the everyday life. People drank beer instead of water. Everyone drank beer. Yeah, everyone drank beer. Children, everyone. Yeah, everyone, because water wasn't drinkable. Beer is now being framed as something really male and masculine, but to begin yeah. with, it wasn't. It was for everyone. It was for everyone and made by women. I think that's important too. In Harlem at the time, we actually know that in the 17th century, one of five people that were brewers were actually female. Ah. Yeah. So, and in reality, this number might have been way higher because these women only appeared in the archives when either their husband passed away or their parents died, so they inherited the breweries. Who became the new big beer boss in her family? <laughs> she actually had 15 children, ah. but only eight of them reached maturity. That happened a lot at the time. Um, but yeah, I mean, she already passed away in 1644. Her husband lived on for another like 15 years. But when he passed away, there was only one heir left, which was their daughter, Geertruid Olekan. And she actually inherited the brewery and she was actually a brewer in the Vogelstruis, their company. If we can name any beer after her, what would it be? What would be the perfect name for a nice glass of cold beer? <laughs> well, I think for her, something related to her name, Maritge, I mean, Maritge Blond or something like that. I think every brewing company right now should name a beer after her. Due to research by Femke, we now know that beer wasn't and isn't only made by and for men. And that Maritge is a true boss.